We need to find the exact square root of numbers that are not perfect squares. So let's start with the square root of 20. We know we can factor 20 into square root of 4 times square root of 5. 4 and the square root of 4, that's our perfect square. So we can take the square root of 4 and get positive and negative 2. 5 is a prime number. We can't factor it. We can't take the square root. So we're going to multiply positive and negative 2 times the square root of 5. And that's going to be our answer for number 1. For number 2, we've got 4 times the square root of 50. So 50 we could factor into square root of 25 times square root of 2. And we'll multiply that by the 4. 25 is our perfect square now. Square root of 25 is positive and negative 5. I'll pull that up front using the commutative property. Times 4 times square root of 2. Positive and negative 5 times 4 gives me positive and negative 20. 2 is a prime number. We can't factor. We can't take the square root. So we're going to get square root of 2. So our answer is going to be positive and negative 20 times the square root of 2. And those are our exact square roots for numbers that are not perfect squares.